Hey guys, how are you? Um, this is Madia San, and uh, today I'm going to uh, tell you guys about some robot kits, okay? Some basic ones. So, first of all, um, our aim is to make one of these robots, okay? So, the thing is, to make these robots, we need some of the components, right? So, we were going to learn about the components today, alright? Very good. So, um, first of all, um, this is called a breadboard. What is it called? This is a breadboard okay as you can see so this board has like a combination of different pins what it does is you can take a wire once you take a wire you can put in one of the breadboards and you can connect it with some other component okay some other electrical component all right you get it then uh, for the robot as you can see in the robot you have um, like the eyes of the robot right so what is this eyes so the eyes of the robot is basically a ultrasonic sensor okay as you can see from the front an ultrasonic sensor so what it does is basically um, it gives the robot uh, ability to check if something is in front of it or not so the robot can move along okay do you understand you understand very good then um, a robot, how does it work? It needs a power source, right? It's definitely, I mean, I mean, without a power source, it cannot run. So, we have this power source over here. This is the battery. And I think you've all probably seen batteries in your lifetime. Like, everyone has to, but there's no other way. So, we're going to be using one of these small batteries and uh, battery packs, basically. So, two or three of them together. And then, we're going to put it as a power source for our robot. And, um... Let's say some of the essential components, the brain of the robot. Yes, the robot needs a brain, right? It needs to think. So this is the brain of the robot. So the robot, what it does is, it um, sees through this um, ultrasonic sensor, HCSR04. What it does is, every time it sees something, right? So it sends those signals using the um, breadboard, okay? The signals go to the breadboard. Um, sorry, this is not the breadboard. Where is the breadboard? It's here. The signal goes to the breadboard. The breadboard is connected to the microcontroller, the brain of the robot. Once the brain receives the signal, it can then control the leg of the robot, okay? You understand, very good. Now, um, there's another kind of batteries we have, which is the 9 volts battery, and it's... Um, it's like a very old one, where you, you can control, then... I'd like to introduce with uh, you with some of the other components like uh, DC motors. I think you've probably seen motors before, so these ones come with like an Amazon 